So as you probably know already, Season 3 just dropped and with it comes a lot of changes and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a guide on how you can improve rapidly and take your game to the next level this season. And just before I get into the video, consider dropping a sub if you did learn something new and if you want to support me even further then feel free to use code NEROFN in the Fortnite item shop. But with all that out of the way, let's get straight into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is loadouts that you want to use this season. So the loot pool has not really changed that much as it's somewhat similar to last season but the guns they did add were the hammer assault rifle which is a really good fire rate and high damage shots as well if you can control the recoil and if you can you definitely want to start using it a lot more as it is a really really good AR. They also added the two shot shotgun which is a bit less reliable than the other shotgun options um, like the striker and the auto shotgun but it's a burst shotgun which can put out large amounts of damage if you can hit your shots. And lastly, the DMR which is a decent sniper rifle but isn't anything too special in my opinion. But in total you should try to carry at least an AR and for what AR is really up to you as the AR is a pretty balanced. A shotgun which you should probably lean more towards carrying the striker as it is the most optimal shotgun this season. But again, it's all about your personal preference. And you also want to carry an SMG as they still are really good this season. And for the last two slots, you can either have heals or have shockwaves or riftigos, which are actually in arena this season as well. So the next topic that I want to talk about is the ability to learn new metas, items and locations in the new season so that you can adapt your playstyle before everyone else. Ways to do this are either to watch pro players and learn off them or by actively using the new guns and learning them in and out. This is also the same for locations and other things too. By doing this, you're able to know what guns you like and dislike, and also you'll be better with those guns if you practice with them. This can also limit your RNG as the guns you get off spawn, you also practice with and therefore be better with as well. Similarly, with drop spots, you want to explore the map and find new places that could have a lot of loot, which can give you an advantage over other players, as you will know where all the loot spawns are. And going back to what I said earlier, you want to watch pro players a lot more this season and study their playstyles. Um, as they have been in your situation and have been at your skill level so you can learn how they got better and implement it into your game. The next thing that I want to talk about is arena. A lot of people because arena points have reset aren't really taking advantage of it. What I mean by this is it's the perfect time to W key or try new things in arena as the points will reset soon so you're not actually losing anything while doing this. This can drastically improve your skill while other players are really just waiting for the arena points to reset. So the final thing that I want to talk about is tournaments. This is especially good for all you console players out there, including me, as there are now going to be cash cups for console players only that go on at the same time as normal cash cups, which mean that you don't have to worry about coming up against sweaty PC players, and you can have a greater chance of winning as everyone is on the same FPS. But bear in mind the prize pool is a bit smaller for these console tournaments. Also, you want to check in every so often to see when new tournaments are available, as when you play lots of tournaments, you'll not only start to lose the nerve that you get when playing, but you also rapidly improve because most people are going to be trying their hardest so it's better practice. Also reviewing your games after the tournament can help you spot crucial mistakes that you're making so that you can fix them and then improve from it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, then consider dropping the video a like and subscribing. And with all that out of the way, I'll see you in the next one.